Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. Simplify a into a square plus a plus 1 plus 5 and find its value for a is equal to 0, a is equal to 1 and a is equal to minus 1. So let us first simplify this part. So now a multiplied to each of these can be written as a into a square plus a into a plus a into 1 as per the distributive law this plus 5 so this becomes a into a square is a cube a into a is a square a into 1 is a plus 5 now we have to find out the value of this expression for a is equal to 0 so when a is equal to 0 what happens 0 to the power 3 would be 0 0 to the power 2 would be 0 plus 0 plus 5 so the value of this expression would be 5 in the second case, when a is equal to 1, then the value of this expression would be 1 cube plus 1 square plus 1 plus 5. That is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3 plus 5, that is 8. In the third case, where a is equal to minus 1, this would become minus 1 to the power 3 plus minus 1 to the power 2 plus minus 1 plus 5. So this would be equal to minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 5. So minus 1 plus 1 will be 0. So 5 minus 1 would be 4. So you see the value of this expression is 5, 8 and 4 respectively for values of a is equal to 0, 1 and minus 1. Question number 6. Subtract 3a into a plus b plus c minus 2b into a minus b plus c from 4c into minus a plus b plus c. So you have to subtract it from this expression. So let us first write this expression. So before that what we will do, let us simplify this part of the expression. So how do we simplify? Again simply by the distributive property. So this can be multiplied to each of these terms and then added as per distributive law. So this becomes 3a into a plus 3a into b plus 3a into c minus this side also it will become the same 2b into a plus 2b into b not plus it should be minus plus 2b into c so this becomes 3a square plus 3ab plus 3ac now when you remove the brackets it becomes 2ab plus 2b square minus 2bc so this would be plus because minus into minus will be plus similarly minus into plus would be minus so this is minus so now let's bring the like terms together so 3a square plus 2b square plus all the terms with ab plus 3ab minus 2ab this would be equal to plus 1ab again terms with 3ac so there's just one term with 3 with ac similarly there is just one term with bc so this is the simplified form of this term now we have to subtract this term from this term so let us now perform the subtraction so what is the technique that we follow the term from which we need to subtract let us first write that term so which is the term from when where from which we want to subtract it is this term so this term can also be simplified like this 4ca minus 4ca plus 4bc plus 4c square similarly by distributive property this can be written as 4c into minus a that is minus 4ac plus 4c into b that is 4bc plus 4c into c that is 4c square so we wrote this one first and now from this we need to subtract this so we will write this expression below this one so 3a square where do we write 3a square so there is no such term with a square so we write it separately similarly 2b square we write it separately 3 then we have plus ab so again ab we do not have so let's write ab also separately then you have plus 3ac so 3ac is same as ca so let's write 3ac below this then you have minus 2bc so bc will be below bc because they are like terms so let's put them together do you have any like terms corresponding to c square no so let's put a zero here similarly let's put a zero here zero here and zero here this is how we do subtraction right now let's reverse the sign of all the terms of the expression which is getting subtracted so once we have done that 
So let's perform this. So 0 minus 3a square will be minus 3a square. 0 minus 2b square would be minus 2b square. Minus 4 minus 3 would be minus 7ac. Plus 4 plus 2 would be plus 6bc. Plus 4c square minus 0 would be plus 4c square. Plus 0 minus ab would be minus ab. So this is the difference or this is the result of the subtraction. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.